clapping is good. <laughs> yeah, if, I only have one rule. If you like a joke, clap. If I like a joke, I'm gonna hit a symbol. Because I can do that. Because that means I rocked it. And you didn't agree, but I agree. Because it was all that. Let's go. Happy Halloween to everyone. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> I've never understood the happy part. Happy. Halloween, I understand. Happy Halloween, not so much. It's a dark holiday. Like, what's this supposed to be like? Boo, I scared you, you happy? Don't cry. Don't cry, little three-year-old girl in an angel costume. My bad. My bad. I probably shouldn't have jumped out from behind my screen door with my Skeletor mask on. And there's fake blood all over my hands. But here, have some candy. That should make up for all the nightmares you'll be having for the rest of your life. Happy death day. Run along. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. That one's going in the symbol. That one. Happy times. Hey kids, let's go decorate the front yard and make it look like a cemetery. That's what I like to do when I'm happy. Happy. to go through this um, one of the first things that we kind of told God is we told him like God we don't know how to do this like we have no clue like how to do this and and uh, God we just we need you to like just tell us you know what to do and teach us and be with us because we don't know and one of the first things that God put into our heart to to um, to strengthen us and get us through um, what we needed to is the fact that um, this, there's a verse where Jesus says that unless a, a grain of wheat dies and falls down into the ground, it can't bear fruit, right? And so for Levi, his, his calling right, in life was to have a certain number of days and then to fall into the ground so that he could bear fruit. And one of the things that we've seen that has continually strengthened us is just to see the fruit that God has been bearing through this little life, you know, and this little guy. And I mean, just story upon story. I mean, just a, a quick one. Um, my hairdresser, you know, of all people, right? She said she came to the memorial we had in Apple Valley and, and it completely uh, changed her and her husband's perspective on the way that they were approaching their life and that they, they, they changed their priorities. They're doing more ministry now. Um, they're leading worship at their church. I mean, these are things that they weren't really like stepping out into before, but because of that, because of Levi, right, and what he, him falling into the ground, that, that that caused that to happen in their life. She said that wouldn't have happened any other way. Things like that over and over and over that we've seen. And so one of the things that, um, you know, that as I've been just kind of like going through this, I've been saying like, God, like when, when am I going to be able to like write a song about this, you know, because that's one of the ways that I express what God's doing in my life is music. And so today when we were practicing, Casey and I and Matt actually, we started working on this song that we had worked on a long time ago and never finished. And uh, God gave us in about 10 minutes, gave me all the words to this song. And so I wanted to sing it to you guys um, just to kind of give you a, a glimpse of what's going on in a my heart and in our heart and and this song is from the perspective of Levi and so I don't know I want I'm trying to balance how much backstory to give you because it's really cool um, we believe that Levi is like 100% completely still involved in what God is doing in our lives and in heaven and 
in everybody's life. He's up there and he's like, he's like, wow, check out what's going on. Look what my little life is accomplishing. And look at what daddy's doing and mommy's doing and all the church kids are doing. You know, like he's participating. And so part of this song is that idea, that idea that he was with us for a while for the time God called him to be with us. And now he's still with us, but in a different way, encouraging us, watching us, hoping that we'll do what's right, hoping that we'll continue walking in God's ways. And so, um, I don't know, I'm just going to shut up and sing this song.